Hello, I'm Amy, an international student in her second year in the university. I mean, that's a big deal, right? Because it is a big deal for me. I love watching movies on Netflix, no offense. I love writing, I love playing the piano, but above all, I am really stressed. I'm stressed about schoolwork. I mean, you could just be in class listening to a teacher and you do not understand a single thing she's saying. When the class is over, understood everyone? Understood, ma'am. I'm stressed about what the future holds for me after graduation because I have so many people back at home who have these high expectations of me and want to see me win at all costs. But let's not forget school is such a pain in the ass. And if you are a GitHub student, you would understand what I'm talking about. Many young people have been raised to believe that their problems are not worth sharing and not important. I once opened up to a relative of mine. I told her, look aunt, I am really stressed about schoolwork. I have so many assignments, so many projects, so many extracurricular activities, and they all have deadlines. All she could say to me was, you don't even know what stress is. You see, that right there is the problem we should be addressing, not just for me, but for many young people who are trying to navigate their way through this so-called life. I have a friend, she's 24 years old, a graduate. She is not married, she is not working, and neither is she pursuing her master's. She stays with her parents and like any typical African home, her parents constantly bombarded her with, your mates are married, your mates are working in big companies, your mates are pursuing their masters, and here you are feeding off from your parents' money. Whenever she shared these stories with me, she made it look like it wasn't a big deal and that she had it all under control. But guess what, she didn't. For two months, I couldn't reach her. And after two months, she gave me a call and said, look, Amy, I was hospitalized for two months because I had a nervous breakdown. At that single moment, I understood all she had been going through and all she had been bottling up inside her. Many of us have gone through this sort of situation or are probably going through this exact same stress. Lucky for you, I have three things that could be of help. Firstly, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to ask for help because only then can you get the help that you really seek. You need to open up to someone that understands you, someone that gets you, regardless of the situation you find yourself. And in most cases may probably not be our parents. Secondly, channel that negativity. Instead of sitting and feeling sorry for yourself, look for something you love doing, something you are passionate about. It could be writing, it could be playing a musical instrument, it could be reading a book. Whatever makes you happy and whatever makes you comfortable, you would be amazed at how much progress you have made. Take that from me. Lastly, give your mind a break. A break from all those negative situations, all those judgmental people who have nothing to offer you. Exercise, rest, listen to podcasts or music. Just get your mind in that clear space. I want to say to all young people who are going through stress or experiencing it, that you are not alone. There are millions and thousands of young people who are going through the exact same stress. And it is my hope and prayer that we all get the closure that we truly deserve.